five days, I didn't eat jack shit. Alright, so first of all, I'd like to say that this video is not going to be as high quality as a lot of our other videos. Um, it was just kind of a, a daily routine. I almost didn't post it at all, but, but Bobby thought it was kind of cool, so I decided to post it after all. Um, so this is all just, just filmed on my phone, not on any of our, our nice camera equipment. So there's a lot of different hot topics in longevity now. Uh, you get a lot of things using things like Yamanaka factors and gene therapies to do cellular rejuvenation. Um, you have certain drugs and supplements that do uh, work with sirtuins and are NAD plus boosters. Um, and these are all in development and I think these are all super exciting and we have people talking about them on our channel. You should totally check it out. Um, but there's one way that is widely agreed upon to extend your lifespan. And that is caloric restriction. Either reducing, severely reducing a large amount of your caloric intake for long periods of time, or not eating for long periods of time. That is eating at least 40% less than what you're used to, and in more extreme cases, not eating anything at all. Caloric restriction is so important to longevity because it leads to a process known as autophagy. Uh, this is when the subcomponents of the cell or the organelles are broken down to their components and then eventually remade, uh, kind of recycling the materials within the cell. You can think of it as putting your body into like a kind of repair mode when times are tough. This was an evolutionary mechanism to make sure when you were in periods of starvation, uh, your body would be able to adapt and, and continue to survive. Um, at a molecular level, you're activating an enzyme called AMPK. Uh, if you want more details on it, there's a, there's a lot of information. Um, David Sinclair is obviously one of the most uh, famous people on the, on topics like this. We have him on our channel. I also highly recommend Dr. Brad Statfield and the Sheaky Science Show, who are, who are friends of the show. Um, and uh, I have their links in the description. I encourage you to check them out, too. They know a lot more about this than I do. Uh, they're longevity people. I just I make magnets. On top of that, there's a, a wide amount of citations and research studies showing how uh, caloric restriction, intermittent fasting, and long-term fasting will affect a person's health. I'll put a bunch of links to those in the description as well. All right, so why am I fasting for five days? That seems like a little longer than necessary. A lot of people talk about doing it for, for 12 hours or 16 hours a day, but five days is a lot longer than that. So a lot of people might have heard of a process called ketosis, where you start metabolizing um, the ketones rather than uh, glucose in your body. Um, and so this process occurs when your glycogen stores in your liver have completely been used up. And this can happen anywhere from 12 to 36 hours, depending on uh, how much food and what kind of food you've been eating. Um, so people try and kind of kickstart ketosis by eliminating the amount of glucose they're ingesting um, while maintaining high amounts of protein. And when your body goes into ketosis, autophagy, this process that I talked about before, does kind of start to get kicked into overdrive, um, causing more cellular regeneration and, and putting yourself in a healthier state, allowing your body to do more and more repair. There are also several studies on mice that show that there are intermittent fasting benefits at, at this 12 to 24 hour fasting period. The thing is mice have a much faster metabolism than humans is. Um, and so you can kind of do a, a bit of a back of the envelope calculation and that a mouse day is more like six days, five to six days for a person. So through what I've found, uh, I've seen that you can definitely get fasting, fasting benefits somewhere between fasting for 12 hours and five days. Now people fast for 12 hours all the time. They, they sleep for too long. People will sleep for 12 hours um, <laughs> if, they're, if they're being lazy. Uh, but not a lot of people uh, in the United States anyway will fast for five days. So I wanted to try it and uh, hopefully get some of these longevity benefits. Okay, so what, what, are, the, what are the rules that I had? So um, a lot of people will still drink coffee to suppress their appetite. Uh, I had some people telling me to drink bone broth because there's, there's zero calories. A lot of people will chew gum. I, I said no to any of this. I didn't want to risk... It at all is is five calories probably going to break my fast? Probably not. Um, but I wanted this to be a bit of a mental exercise too, as a kind of way to prove to myself that I can I can do this. Um, 
and it would it would really suck if I found out in five years that any amount of co- any amount of calories was going to blow this up, um, and that I went through all of that for nothing. <laughs> so um, I didn't do any of that. I allowed myself three things. Uh, I would drink as much water as I wanted. Um, I will have a multivitamin uh, to make sure that I'm not being malnourished or anything, and that I'm not damaging my health as uh, any more than I normally would be while I do this, um, since being healthy was was kind of the point of, of doing this in the first place. And uh, sometimes I would I would put a little salt on my finger and eat it just to give myself a little bit of a taste of something, um, and then hopefully restore some of the electrolytes. Although I don't really know if it works that way. I uh, I will continue to exercise. Um, I did three different workouts during the course of these five days, and for about two weeks leading up to it, I was eating a lot of food, and probably not the healthiest food, um, trying to gain a little weight to, to lead up to this. Um, I think it's an important thing to note, this was not a, a weight loss strategy. I, uh, I have weight as a metric here just to kind of see the amount of energy that I'm using, because I think it's kind of interesting to see how much uh, weight I'm losing. But if you were trying to lose weight, Fasting for five days is not always the healthiest way to do it. Um, although it has been done, uh, if you look it up, there was one there was one case where someone actually was severely overweight and was able to survive on nothing but water and electrolytes for 385 days. Uh, it was an amazing study. I thought it was super interesting. Um, lots of little interesting tidbits in there, especially with uh, how often they went to the bathroom. Um, so... Uh, this is a description of everything that I did for uh, over those five days while I was fasting, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, I am now 30 hours into my fast, and I am pretty hungry, as you can expect. Heard the beginning's the hardest. Yeah, a little over a day doesn't seem like a long time, but believe me, it feels like it sometimes. <laughs> when when you're not eating and you're hungry and all of a sudden you're hanging out with people and they just want to eat more food and you just see it and you just get more and more hungry, it just kind of drives you crazy. But it's, it's, it's really not that bad. Um, I've done this before. Uh, I've been able to do two days, three days and without too much of a problem, so we will keep going. All right, I'm about 50 hours into my fast. Uh, I feel a lot better today than I did yesterday. The hunger is starting to subside. Probably helps that I don't have uh, a bunch of my friends telling me about all kinds of different food that they've been trying, which was driving me nuts yesterday. Um, put in a good workout today, which was which was fun. Uh, I didn't feel any weaker, which I, I expected to. I thought I was gonna be, have trouble putting up weight, but that wasn't really the issue. Um, I did start to feel tired and a little faint. Um, maybe that's just because of lack of electrolytes, I don't know. Um, but I'm going to keep going. I have uh, one or two more workouts left and uh, feel a lot better today than yesterday. Uh, I'm down about nine pounds now, which is a lot more than I expected. I didn't think it was going to come off this fast. I mean, sure, at the very beginning I, I had just I had housed a whole bunch of food, so I was probably a little heavier than I normally would be. Um, but I did not expect to lose that much weight that fast. Uh, and to be clear, this is not about losing weight for me. This is about longevity, and the uh, the losing weight is just kind of a, a fun metric to use, I think, um, just to see how much energy is being used up by my body as, as this goes on. I expect it to kind of level out, but I guess we'll see what happens. Nice. Yeah, so some of the tricks I've been using that help is just making sure I stay busy. Uh, the busier I am, the less I have to think about not eating, right? Um, and uh, doing kind of low priority tasks. So things I have to think a lot, I notice that I don't really think quite as fast because I am a little distracted about being hungry. Um, but 
I think there are enough tasks like cleaning and like basic programming or uh, exercise that I think all of these pieces these pieces help helps to keep me distracted. Okay, I am now 72 hours in. Um, not too hungry, but uh, I was earlier, and last night I was I got pretty hungry. Um, I'm surprised at how much weight I keep losing. Being down 13 pounds in three days is a it's a pretty big shift. Um, I was not gonna lie, I was a little concerned when I looked at myself in the mirror this morning at how thin I had gotten. Um, but. I've had a lot of people tell me, like, oh, I, I couldn't do this, or uh, that eating, not eating for that long is really hard. But the truth is, is people do this all the time. Uh, famine is still a real problem for millions of people all over the world. And so me not eating for five days is some kind of longevity life hack doesn't seem that bad. And, and people who, who refuse to do this, I think don't understand uh, how soft I think a lot of people have become. Um, because that's what I think the real problem is. I, I think uh, we have so many people that refuse to take care of themselves, not because they don't know what's best for them, but because they just refuse to. I mean, how ridiculous is it that the number one cause of death in the United States is not cancer, not police brutality, not COVID, none of these things are the leading cause of death in the United States. The number one cause of death in the United States by far is heart disease. This is something that I'm doing for me. I'm not doing it for anyone else. I'm doing it for my own health and for my own benefit. But there are so many people that are living with the reality of famine every day. But there are even more people that are living with the problems of obesity. And these, this seems so ironic, so contradictory. But this is the, the world that we live in. I'm about four days in. I uh, I was doing my workout and I had to I had to cut it early. I had a, a really one of the one of the worst back cramps I think I've ever had in my life. Um, it's it's to the point that it's hard to breathe. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it now. Um, and then, uh, hopefully it will get better and I'll be able to work out tomorrow. You know what the worst part is? Is that I wasn't even working out that hard. I, this, it was a, I, I was planning on doing a pretty light workout day today. And just, just doing some tricep tips and all of a sudden I, I couldn't breathe. It, it's gotta be lack of electrolytes or something. I don't know. I've, I've been trying to eat just like regular salt. Yeah, this is, this is rough. I tried to stretch it out, and it, it made it so much worse. Alright, I uh, just finished my last workout, and I'm finally ending the fast with some good old whey protein. Bottoms up. I am so happy right now. <laughs> okay, so after those five days, I uh, I learned a few things. Um, one, one thing is that was kind of unfortunate. I had read a lot of things online about how after a couple days you'd come zen and have this superpower focus. That was not the case at all. I was hungry the entire time. Um, people also say that you stop becoming hungry. Uh, that might be kind of true. In, in my case, I felt it wasn't as much that I was no longer hungry. It was much more like I was still hungry, but I had gotten used to it. Uh, I just kind of got used to having this pit in my stomach all the time and didn't think about it because I just became habituated to it. But I don't think I ever stopped wanting food. Um, in fact, one of the things that was kind of interesting was uh, every time I, I heard something or, or saw, saw some kind of a food, 
everything seemed like it would hit the spot. It wasn't so much that uh, I would get hunger pangs or I'd be super hungry, but I'd hear someone talk about, like, even toast. For some reason, I had this, like, giant hankering for toast or, like, pizza. Uh, and I'd hear someone talk about it, and I'd say, man, like, a slice of toast would totally hit the spot right now. That would be the best thing ever. Um, but, of course, I couldn't do it. And then uh, after I finished the fast, I had a whole bunch of toast. So um, that was nice. Uh, that kind of mental clarity and things like that that people have talked about, or a feeling of feeling high, I did not. I did not get that at all. Um, afterward, I feel great now that I've been able to eat again. Um, I definitely feel like I have a, have a whole lot more energy. I can focus, and uh, I don't know. I, I can I can do a lot of tasks, so I feel great now. But it also might just be the shock of finally having enough energy from food to being able to be active and and doing things again. One thing that I noticed when I was working out a lot, I think I mentioned this earlier in the video, um, but. I didn't really feel weaker. Uh, it wasn't so much that I couldn't put up as much weight as I normally do, um, but I did feel faint. I'd start to kind of get the shadows coming in around the corners a little bit, or uh, I, I would be working out with my eyes closed a lot, like I was almost sleepy. Like I, didn't, I was just kind of running out of energy. Uh, maybe part of that was psychosomatic, I don't know, um, but that was, that was my own personal experience. Another interesting thing that happened was, especially the last couple of days, I had a lot of gas. Uh, I've heard this is like a, this is some kind of keto breath, um, but I would be burping all the time and it smelled like sulfur and it was kind of gross uh, and sometimes even a little uncomfortable. Um, but I mean, all things considered, it was not the, the worst thing in the world. Uh, I wouldn't s stop the fast because I was burping too much. <laughs> Uh, I've also heard that during these processes that people have increased productivity. Um, I would say maybe my, I had a little bit, I was a little bit more productive um, just because I had a little more time because I didn't have to think about eating at all. Um, and I think the bigger thing was that because I was so focused on not wanting to think about being hungry that I gave myself all these tasks to do and I kind of forced myself to be busy. But at the same time, there were plenty of times where I would want to do something and I was I was just too tired. Like even when I was cleaning on like day four and just cleaning up all these different parts of my house, uh, I would sit down and I just didn't want to get up and I couldn't I couldn't finish things because the thought of doing any kind of complicated task uh, or exerting more effort I just thought was too exhausting. And so uh, I was definitely slower in a lot of aspects uh, than I normally would have been if I had been eating. I also couldn't focus on doing more complicated tasks. So, um, for example, I had a, a, a difficult coding problem that I had to work on this week, and uh, I had a lot of trouble solving it until actually I had eaten. Um, and then right around the time that I was able to eat again, I was able to solve the problem without much of an issue. So, uh, again, I did not experience this mental clarity that a lot of people claim to have. But maybe that's just me. But at the end of the day, did I achieve what I set out to do? Did I get these longevity benefits and autophagy that I've been talking about? Um, well, I don't know. I'm 27 years old. <laughs> I guess I'll, I'll have to wait like 50 years and see if, uh, if it paid off. I, I hope it did. Um, but I thought it was definitely worth a try. At the, at the very worst, I was able to save some money on food, clean my house, <laughs> and... Uh, Gain a little perspective on uh, what it's like to, to live in a, in a modern society. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe you learned something, maybe you didn't. Um, hopefully you can learn from my experiences and uh, let us know if, if you thought this was interesting.